Male testosterone has been dropping 1% per year for the past 50 years, meaning our grandfathers had double the testosterone of the average male these days. Female fertility has also been on a steady decline since the 1970s. You're probably aware that these days the foods we're eating are more processed than a mere 50 years ago, but did you know that the foods you're eating are potentially damaging to the endocrine system, aka your hormonal health? In the early 1900s, we changed the way we farm and made food. Industrial farming and food production was becoming mainstream, and we moved away from regenerative farming. Coming. Introducing metal grinding systems as opposed to traditional stone mills, which meant that wheat and other crops became highly processed, removing fibre and any nutritional benefits. We overfarmed the land and destroyed the topsoil of our planet, and now two thirds of the topsoil of our planet is currently non usable. After the World Wars, we discovered the power of petroleum. And we had excess petroleum products after World War II ended. Scientists figured out a way to create chemical-based fertilizers, pesticides and herbicides from petroleum products. The main culprit is glyphosate, a herbicide commercially known as Roundup. Glyphosate damages plants ability to create healthy amino acid profiles and as we know we need plants to feed humans as well as our farmed animals which we also eat and because the land had been over farmed at this point farmers at the time were struggling with poor soil conditions which led to the dust bowls of the early 1900s they now had a solution which was to spray all sorts of chemicals on the soil to create what they thought were healthy crops and food fast forward to the modern day we are eating foods that are highly processed nutrient deficient and full of chemical fertilizers and pesticides not to mention genetically modified wheat and grain that can cause all sorts of issues. These are all factors that are now known to disrupt your endocrine system and many other healthy bodily functions. It's no wonder that the human population has seen a steep rise in autoimmune diseases, cancer, metabolic issues and obesity. In fact, in the last 70 years alone, Alzheimer's and dementia in women and Parkinson's in men have risen in the order of hundreds of percent. Male testosterone has fallen 50% in the past 50 years. This trend of decreasing testosterone levels continues with research from Finland, Denmark and Israel demonstrating a drop by about 1% annually. A recent Israeli study spanning 2006 to 2019 revealed a staggering 10% decrease across all age groups. Welcome to the Health Food Hacks channel and in today's video we're talking about a few common foods that you might be eating which are definitely damaging your hormonal health, best to avoid. While this list isn't exhaustive, there are a few you definitely need to pay attention to. Also in this video, pay attention to the abbreviation EDCs, which stands for Endocrine Disrupting Chemicals. These are a class of chemicals that are known to disrupt the human endocrine system, which is obviously not a good thing. We want to make sure that our endocrine system is functioning efficiently and healthily. As mentioned above, the widespread herbicide glyphosate Glyphosate is an example of a powerful EDC. And yet, we spray it on our crops, and it has been used so extensively in the past 80 years, it has made its way into our air, rain, oceans, and grasslands all over the world. Other examples of EDCs are lead, heavy metals, household cleaning products, other pesticides, and plastic products. First up, at number one, we have cereal. Now, remember when you were a kid and you were taught that breakfast is the most important meal? No, this is not true. It's a myth. Eating a big breakfast in the morning when your body has come out of a sleep state immediately spikes your insulin and blood sugar, leading to that lazy, lethargic feeling. So you turn to your coffee to save you. Add in highly processed sugary cereals and it's possibly the worst thing you can do for your health. Modern cereals that you find in your supermarket are often highly refined, processed and made with genetically modified grains. Not to mention full of sugar which decreases male testosterone and increases female testosterone, which is not ideal. They claim to be fortified with vitamins and minerals, but these cereals have high glycemic index, which means they cause a sharp spike in blood sugar after consumption. Our bodies are just not designed to consume these sorts of foods at these times. Our ancestors wouldn't have had cereal in the morning. The human body is wonderfully designed to thrive at a low insulin fasted state. Our recommendation, choose a more protein rich breakfast or skip breakfast entirely. In a number two, we have protein bars. You may have thought that protein bars are a healthy, protein-rich snack when you're on the go, but this is not the case. Firstly, protein bars usually use a very low quality protein. These very processed protein sources are not very bioavailable, meaning not well absorbed or utilized by the body. Along with that, they are filled with artificial sweeteners like aspartame. These non-nutritive sweeteners have been shown to negatively impact the reproductive and endocrine system of rats. On top of that, protein bars have over 40 artificial ingredients in them. These include e-numbers, fillers, and potentially microplastics. So, it might be best to avoid these. And number three, we have fruits that aren't organic. While we are a huge fan of fruits, and we should all be eating more fruits, Something must be said about fruits that haven't come from organic sources. A startling revelation about our daily produce, almost all grapes and oranges harbour a cocktail of pesticides. Government tests exposed an alarming truth, 122 different types of pesticides 
in the so-called Dirty Dozen. Shockingly, 61% are highly hazardous, including 15 toxins directly impacting our sexual function and fertility. These chemicals pose a threat not just to our health, but to our very ability to reproduce. While individual levels may meet standards, the combination of these reproductive toxins raises grave concerns about our well-being. The solution here, try and pick organic fruits, definitely wash them and go for more local options. And number four, we have certain dairy products. Have you ever actually thought about what's in your milk? So here's a deal. Dairy products can carry more than just nutrients. EDCs have a way of bioaccumulating in animal tissue and products, meaning pesticides or environmental pollutants can end up in the milk we drink. Consuming these dairy products might expose us to these chemicals, which, even in low levels, can interfere with our hormonal balance. Staying aware of potential contaminants in dairy is crucial for ensuring safer and healthier consumption. Milk and dairy products are good for you, but it's best to get organic or ideally from local farms if possible. At number five, we talk about farmed fish. Now, farmed fish may contain EDCs due to potential contamination from water or feed in aquaculture. These substances, like pesticides and pollutants and heavy metals, can accumulate in farmed fish tissue, posing a concern to consumer health. Choosing a fish source carefully and staying informed about potential contaminants can help minimize exposure to EDCs and farmed fish. You can still enjoy fish, fish is fantastic for you, but it's best to choose line caught or responsibly sourced fish where possible. And number six, we talk about chicken. Okay, let's start with the fact that chicken is actually very good for you and it's a great protein source. We're a huge fan of chicken as well. However, it's a good idea to make sure that you try to opt for organic chicken or at least free range to ensure that they have not been given anti antibiotics and other chemicals. Also, pesticides used on farms tend to end up accumulated in the farm animals fat and muscle especially chickens so like we said best to try and pick organic sourced or locally sourced chicken where possible and finally at number six we have tap water now if you live in a city it may be best to avoid drinking too much tap water directly from the tap recent studies worldwide found traces of endocrine disrupting chemicals edcs like bpa NP, heavy metals, and even the contraceptive hormones, raising concerns for our hormonal health. Most river concentrations only just met proposed standards, but during low flow, half of England and Wales face medium risk. Water treatment does help reduce EDC levels, but it's best to add extra filtration steps at home. There are also studies showing that the alternative, bottled water, may also contain EDCs from the plastic bottles themselves. At the end of the day, it's being aware and staying informed which is the best thing you can do for your health long term. Other things that should be mentioned include plastic cutting boards and kitchen cleaning chemicals. It's estimated we consume a credit card amount of plastic from our cutting boards per year. These plastics are known to be EDCs, so it's best to use wooden cutting boards if possible. And there we have it. Thanks for watching until the end. Hopefully you've learned something new here and you can make some good informed choices for your health going forward. We have one life, so let's make sure it's a healthy one and we'll see you in the next video.